talk to you guys today about classroom <coughs> websites and their benefits and why you would want to use them as a teacher. A lot of classroom websites are sites that are set up by a teacher for a specific class or organization or club. Um, they include different things depending on what grade level or subject is being taught in the class. For example, elementary school classes are usually more interactive with their websites. There are links to other educational websites like FunBrain or things like that and videos on YouTube or um, TeacherTube. There's information for parents and students, um, like field trip slip information and classroom and school-wide newsletters. And those are really good because that way that you don't have to print out a permission slip, you can have it online. Because we all know that elementary schoolers aren't always the most responsible and they might not actually give their slip to their parents. This way their parents can just go online and print it out for themselves. Um, there's usually also links to grades, and one of the big differences between elementary school websites and older grade websites is that there's usually photos and videos of what's going on in class. That way the parents can log on and see what their, their children are doing in class um, and be more interactive with that. Middle and high school websites are usually less interactive, not as many links. Um, you could kind of think of them as um, an online syllabus. There are printable worksheets and study guides, rubrics, permission slips, because then again, if a kid doesn't remember to take their slip home or take their homework out of their locker, they can just go online and print it out. Or if they're sick one day, they can go um, online and see the paper that the teacher had printed out and the teacher doesn't have to copy it for them. There's also most of the time a calendar on a high school or middle school website. That way the students can log on and see what is due in class that day or when their next field trip is coming up. And it could also remind them of days off. Um, notes are many times posted on upper level grade websites because that way if students want to study off of the notes, they can just go online instead of having to use their notebooks. Or if someone's sick, they can go online and see what was taught in class today and the teacher doesn't have to print out their notes or you have to find someone who doesn't have the notes and it's a lot easier. So I have an example of a website and this is not an elementary school website. I know that a lot of you guys are elementary education, but this is a good example. This is my high school's band webpage. You see right up here that there's a logo um, for the band. Lots of elementary school websites have more logos and um, <coughs> color, but this is a high school website, so it really doesn't. Right here, this is something that is really, really, really helpful. These are all PDF downloads, where you can download um, itineraries right here, um, different permission slip forms. This handbook PDF is really handy. Before um, the band teacher set this up, we would get this 30-page handbook every year at the beginning of the year and it was basically just killing trees as we all knew what was in the handbook but now it's online and that's a lot easier a lot better for the environment and it's not paper that's just going to be in your locker there's also excused absence forms to download things like that that way we don't have to make copies and here's the calendar i was talking about um, we'll go to november because here, if a student's wondering when their next performance is, they can look on here, you can click on it, and it'll tell you more information about where, what time. If there's a specific dress code for that performance, it'll be there. Um, when fundraisers are due, when slips are needed to be turned in. And this right here is sort of a little about me, about the teacher, which is a good thing to have on your website so parents and students sort of know who you are and what your philosophy is, sort of like what we did with our Google site. So in conclusion, a um, uh, school classroom website is a good idea because there are less paper waste because you can just post things online and you don't have to print it out and hand it to students who might lose it. Um, and it gives kids educational things to do online instead of just playing Minecraft or going on YouTube they can check out more educational sites that you link on your website. <coughs> and because um, students are already online so much and so are their parents, we might as well put a little of the classroom online for them to see. Instead of just goofing around on the internet, they can be doing something and be more educational.